I think, yeah, it was only when we were intentional about being close that we actually did. because you can't get these here. And then I got some Cheez-Its, hot and spicy. I got Chester's fries, peanut butter Oreos, Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm so happy. When I was in the States, mommy got me this for my birthday and I loved it. The Fiesta size Takis. Party size, crunchy Cheetos. You know they, they stop selling, like, <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> what is chumoy? Chumoy is basically like a spice we use in Mexican culture. Cool. That's crazy, actually. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go get some food. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. 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 Let's <gasps> what? No way! I can actually be Crayo now. <laughs> Three POVs. Oh, you got more G G fuel. We're going to be doing matcha. We're we're gonna be making matcha. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tina. I'm 21, and. <laughs> Um, I'm here to make some matcha and for my friends to fix my hair because before I got here I decided to cut my hair. Should I do a reveal? Do a reveal. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> no, it's so bad. Are you kidding me? Hi guys. I'm Chris. I'm 29 years old and it's just been a stressful day, you know getting the wrong address and I just feel so overwhelmed and I don't know if I can continue on. Hi, Jiko. Um, it's my first time. I'm 25. I'm shy. <laughs> guys, I am Pat. So we're making matcha today with everyone. Well, we forgot water <laughs> Who goes first? Hi, my name is Tristan, and this is. You just posted it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tristan, and this is. Mika. And we're here today to make. Matcha. <laughs> hello, hello. <sighs> my name is Miko. I'm 27, and I'm here to make matcha. And because boyfriend duties. Um, my name is Brandon, and today I'll be teaching the class of matcha to my fellow friends that took the time to come out here today. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm here because I had nothing else better to do. So, I guess. I'll do this. Skilled in his 
his manners, brave in his tone. He can do it all. Gifts in his chamber, all from afar. We I just got back from work. I had work in the office today. I got home like 20 minutes ago. I was looking forward to making matcha all day. And I'm currently drinking it right now. My sister and Brandon and Mika hosted like a matcha making class or like activity with friends. Brandon gifted us like matcha sets and a bunch of matcha from Blue Bottle. Right now I think I'm just gonna watch some vlogs, drink my matcha, eat some Funyuns. That's my quick little midweek check-in. There should be more activities throughout the rest of the week. Let's get on with the vlog. Jollibee after what, nine years? Jollibee in the homeland. Mm. Better? Good, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Today is an exciting day because Nico planned a date for us. I don't know where we're going. It's been a while. And she been bugging my ass. <laughs> yeah. About a day. Check in on you when we arrive. Lunch spot? Is it a lunch spot? Um or like a food food? Or is it like snacks or like what? Don't tell me. Actually don't tell me. <laughs> okay. okay. We're somewhere in Makati. He's catching a Pokemon. I'm trying to get my stops, bro. I don't have any like <laughs> potions. While we're waiting for our food, oh god, okay. while I have Nico here, there are a few questions about love and relationships, and I thought you would be the perfect person to have with me answering them because we're in love in a relationship. As a 25 year old, do you think it's hard to find love organically for our age? I am a 25 year old medical doctor and had a girlfriend all throughout med school. We then broke up and now I realized after a long time, it's extra hard to find people my age or even a possible love interest when you're not in school. I think it really depends on your daily habits, who you see. If you're if you're a doctor, you're gonna be super busy. The the only people you'll really be meeting would be like your coworkers or I don't know, patients. <laughs> I don't think that's a lot though. Yeah, it's it's a different day and age. Just organic is very because organic it's, it's very define subtle. organic right. So that's meeting someone outside of apps. Is that yeah. considered organic? Probably. Yeah. I, I mean, like anything that doesn't have to do with actively searching for it, you're not gonna sit on a bus and like look at someone then they start to like peep yeah. you they're like hey I, I think, uh, here's my number yeah so mm. i think that in our day and age it's less common 
for someone to approach you and like strike a conversation with you like randomly as a stranger right so for context me and Nico met on Bumble so we did not meet organically but I think we developed organically you should only be using dating apps as a tool just as your middleman when it comes to things but it's not something that you should rely like fully yeah rely on fully I mean so how what would you suggest to people who don't want to get on the apps and are just gonna rely on meeting someone organically that's a tough one because like a lot of the times you're not gonna be on like the same page mm. um, you might be looking for someone but they might not be um, it's really just about um, staying true to what you know and like just being able to read the room properly. A lot of the times, if you're gonna meet someone naturally, you still have to develop a friendship. A friendship. You have, you have to go through like different stages of building your relationship. <clears throat> I think I have nothing against people who don't believe in dating apps. I understand because there's so much dating apps, like being on dating apps. There's a lot of like. You'll have to go through a lot of bad um, experiences to get a good experience from dating apps sometimes. Yeah, I mean, once again, it depends on, on your... Priorities. On like, yeah, like a lot of people, they're not really looking for a long-term partner. The benefit of dating apps is that everyone there is on the same page in, the, in a way. Like everyone there is looking for some sort of relationship yeah if you're a person that doesn't believe in dating apps which is totally fine because dating apps can be scary i think that you just have to lower your expectations a bit and realize that it's gonna take a little longer very long by the and way and it's, I, I, it's a lot of fear I think for, rejection. for guys too it's definitely a lot harder to stand out as a guy don't let it take you back hmm. i think you're i mean you're medical doctor so yeah. <laughs> you got priorities too yeah, yeah, yeah. i think you shouldn't force anything like everyone yeah. wants love obviously just but just let it let, let it just let it take up like um, and, and when yeah. it's the when it's like the right time it's the right time like you'll know so i think you shouldn't force anything like there's no pressure you're 25 mm. you don't need to be in a long-term relationship um i guess for context like i was in a seven-year relationship from high school <laughs> from high school until after college to like working and when we broke up I was 23 and it did feel like I'm basically restarting but then you realize like I was 23 like that's there's no pressure to be in a long-term relationship at the age of 23 but it does I understand like after a long-term relationship especially through college it's like you're back at square one after yeah, which leads me into the next question is of how you and I met. Bumble. <laughs> so, that, that's it. Yeah, that's I it. and you were already on Bumble at, at least for a, a couple year. of months. Yeah, just yeah. on and off. It was like, I've never dated before. I'm going to try the apps. Like, not expecting anything serious. I wasn't really looking for a boyfriend, but more of just to gain experience in dating. Like, see what's what it's like because I I never did it before and in the first week I matched with Nico and his first message to me was carry me in Valorant you listen if you keep up with the trends and you can pull yourself off like that to be fair my bio work. did have Valorant in it yeah so you need to be able to match up yeah to what their interests are and luckily and we did share um, that interest like literally as soon as that happened, like every day we were hopping on Valorant Discord. <laughs> like lucky, it was like a combination of, we met on Bumble and Valorant because Valorant is what we spent most of our time doing before we actually met up. Yeah, but like we also weren't really taking it that seriously. We weren't. It, it, it's really just spending quality time. Yeah, it, it wasn't love at first sight. Like we both- She hated me, she ghosted me. No, don't she stop. friend zoned me. She was like, oh, I can't be, I can't be messing out on the best guy ever. So like, <laughs> let me text him and like invite him out on like a Wait, date or hangout. you're skipping ahead. You're no, 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 no. I'm not skipping, I'm not skipping anything. This let is the truth. Explain. She friends with me. She put me down in the gutter. And I was you like, did. you know what? It's whatever. 
plenty okay. of fish in the Let sea. Let me continue what And I was she was saying. like, oh my god, there's not a lot of fish. Let me continue what I was saying. I want saying. that fish. Let me continue. <laughs> yeah. As I was saying, it wasn't love at first sight. Because we both weren't looking for a serious relationship. But we quickly, I think we clicked. And very early on, I knew that you would always be a friend. Always be my, <laughs> no, you my would, maybe. You would always be like a friend. Like I knew I, I liked talking to you. You were fun. To, we had similar interests. This doesn't have to turn into a relationship. Is that good? No. Coffee's terrible. <laughs> but yeah, and then I get a lot of time, man. we had our first date. Yeah, I was nervy. And, I was nervy. Yeah, and I don't know. I mean, look at him. He's really handsome. So obviously, I started like thinking, damn. <laughs> and to be completely transparent, I was scared because I was like, if I fall for the first guy that I'm interested in, then damn, that's kind of scary. So I. <laughs> Yo, set game. That's. I don't. I can't help it, man. I got scared, and I was like, "Hey, let's let things down. Let's let's just be friends." And surprisingly, yeah, she friends on me, and like I asked her dad too, and she was like, okay. "Yeah, yeah, she did." And at the time. I thought you handled it really well. I thought you like were like, oh, okay, that's whatever. And we still continued to be friends and play Valorant. Then after a week, I was like, okay, maybe I'm feeling this guy. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't a maybe. It's like she's definitely feeling it. Yeah. But she I was couldn't like, come to terms with it because yeah, you know. it was it was like, am I really gonna let a good thing pass me by just because of time? You know, I asked him out. And then the rest is history, I think. But yeah, that's how me and Miko met. Okay, and then the next question is, what are our future plans? I think we're both young. We're just enjoying our time, growing as individuals together, right? How would, what would you say? If you're able to progress with someone um, at a pace where you're both comfortable. Do you think I'm a good girlfriend? Yo, cut, 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 cut. cut. Stop. <laughs> Answer. Um, yeah, she she does a lot for me. Like, not not even like directly, but um, I think she's a good person that translates into being a good partner. And uh, there's more than just like qualities of hers or like things that she does for me that makes this whole relationship a lot, a lot more stable, a lot better. Um, it really impresses me emotionally, physically, any way you can. Um. She look, look at her smiling around, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> and I'm funny. Nah. And pretty. And kind. Nah. And sweet. And I'm better. <laughs> you know, Miko has a really difficult time complimenting. <laughs> I don't compliment. I also have a hard time, a hard time receiving compliments. So. But I compliment him all the time. Do you think I'm pretty? Duh. I chose you for a reason, fam. <laughs> okay, let's eat, let's eat. my sister we're at a park right now in bgc another park i think we're gonna eat some food we got some coffee i'm so hungry drink? can you find her drink there were i also got some questions about us what uh what about us yeah and like so somebody asked did our relationship always was our relationship always like this growing up was it always close oh yeah i would say so i think we were forced to be close yeah when we were but younger. i would say that we were like close sisters growing up and then i think it was when we moved to fort victoria together that we became friends that we became like yeah best yeah, friends yeah, that's true. i think yeah it was only when we were intentional about being close that we actually did come close yeah i know you also became a guardian you're playing pokemon go yeah, I told you. Did you bro. catch any? You know, so somebody is, also um, asked me like, anonymously. Yeah. Are you ever jealous of your sister's achievements? What? Yeah. Who asked was, you that? It was anonymous. It was through the Google form. Um. 
Mm. Are you ever jealous? No. I feel like it would be so terrible if I felt like I had to compete with you. Mm. You know? Because, like, jealousy yeah. means, like, I don't want you to be better than me. You know? Like, that's... Yeah. I think mean, that's really... Like, not even because we're sisters, but just with Generally, your friends in general. Yeah. Like, that's not You don't good see it side. that way. No. And if anything, I'll be, like, your number one supporter. Like, I want to see you, hit, like, hit all these goals and all these achievements. Like, it's never, like, a... It's never a question of, like, my sister My sister is better than me. And I don't like that. Like, that's... I think that's just really weird to think about. Yeah. When, when I was younger, like, when we were, like, growing up. Because I always thought you were really pretty. Like, I remember when we were used to do photo shoots and I would always like love taking pictures of you I was like oh my god every picture you're like she's so pretty and then I would ask you to take a picture of me and I was like oh, I'm what? so ugly no you're not <laughs> ugly thanks for joining this podcast we're gonna eat now we're gonna wait, eat wait where's now. the pizza I don't see the pizza where's the pizza